You can start now. Mm -hmm. Okay, hello everybody. Um, as far as I heard, the mass courses are most catered here in MSU. Uh, and uh, although there are a lot of graduates here, most of them are graduates, only one of the graduates yet, but um, I would like to today to show and that mathematics can be interesting. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, mainly, I would like to talk about interesting numbers paradox. What is it? We will know it later, but first so we would consider a few uh, interesting examples. Uh, does anyone have a calculator here on mobile phone? No one? Um, yeah, a calculator on the phone? Yeah, sure. it's very simple. Just mm -hmm. multiply. Can, can anybody work for me yeah. for a while? No. Can anybody work for yeah. me? Can you? Okay. Okay. It's in tools. One number. To pick a number. Uh, pick a number from 1 to 6. No, not 2. 2. Please. I don't know where about now. I actually don't know where So, this number doesn't look very no, well. From these two beautiful examples, we can conjecture that there are no non-interesting numbers. Well, but, and I can give you a simple proof of this statement. Let's suppose there are interesting numbers and non-interesting numbers. <laughs> two groups of numbers. So we can divide them into two groups. Let's take a group of non-interesting numbers. We can pick the smallest non-interesting number, which is, of 
cost interesting because it's the smallest non-interesting number. <laughs> so we, we take the smallest in interesting number, non-interesting number, and we move it to interesting numbers. Then we can pick another smallest because, yeah, we can again pick another one which will be the smallest in this group, and again it will be interesting because it's the smallest non-interesting number in the group. That's how we can move all non-interesting numbers to a group of interesting numbers. <laughs> That's why all the numbers are interesting. <laughs> you see, the, and as mathematics is a, is a science about numbers, then mathematics is interesting. So that's, that was the interesting numbers paradox. Uh, paradox, this is paradox because actually if you move two interesting, non-interesting numbers of such quality as smallest, then the one which is bigger becomes more interesting, but it's okay. <laughs> but um, that's the paradox. But you know, you cannot disreject the proof of this. Uh, so I will finish with one question with, uh, which was given uh, to me by a professor on exam. And by, from this question, uh, depending on my mark on exam. Uh, it's very similar to this paradox, but it's very different. It might seem to you very different. So let's suppose we are all religious and we believe in some God. Uh, and we assume that God is almighty and he can do anything. So, the question is, is God able to create a stone which he will not be able to lift up? <laughs> question. On well, the paradox. Is it yes or no? Well, it's a paradox for you. question. Right? right? It's a paradox question. <laughs> Who votes for yes? Sure, I'll vote for yes. Okay, I that's Aaron votes for yes. I vote for yes. So, vote. so if, if God creates such a stone, yes. then he's not almighty because he cannot lift it up. Right, but he can do anything, so he can create it. No, but he cannot lift it up. So he's not almighty then. If we vote no, uh, if we say no, then he's not almighty because he cannot create the stone. Just not almighty. <laughs> That's paradox. So how are you That's doing here now? Sorry? Yeah. How are you doing exam? I smiled and he came in the group. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's all. Uh, about this paradox, we can talk after that.